Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Also, we're going to be talking about a potential new TV show, so we've got some interesting stuff to do with a new crossover, not Crisis on Infinite Earths, and we're going to be breaking it all down in this video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Supergirl videos or DC TV videos later this year. So, also, towards the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about a scene that was shot for Supergirl just recently. So, this is coming from Canada Graphs when we get to that section. So, go check out his blog and also his Twitter because there will be lots more photos for you all to see. So, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So, we have an exclusive apparent piece of news that has come from Fandom Wire. I don't know if it's legit or not, so take it with a grain of salt, but they are reporting that Supergirl will appear in Batwoman Season 1. There will supposedly be a crossover episode of sorts. So, what they were able to say and supposedly found out, like I said, once again, don't know if the sources are reliable or not. It could be, you know, unofficial. It could be just a rumour that they're putting out there. But it seems like they are claiming Supergirl is going to cross over with Batwoman. So... What they were able to say was a source close to them has told them that Melissa Benoist will be crossing over as Supergirl. She'll be hopping over to Earth-1 at some point during the first season of Batwoman to lend a hand. And this will likely further connect Batwoman to the larger Arrowverse as a whole, as well as set up the Crisis on Infinite Earths event later in the season. So from this, they're suggesting that if Supergirl were to cross over, it would be before Crisis, it, because they specifically said to set up. So, yeah. I think this is interesting, and I think I'm really down for the crossover. I really like their dynamic last year in Elseworlds. Looking forward to seeing their interactions this year in Crisis. So, yeah, looking forward to that. But, I just have one query, and I posted about this on Twitter earlier today. I really want a Flash and Supergirl crossover, so it's going to be fine that they're crossing over there, but I'm a little bit salty that we haven't had a Flash and Supergirl crossover since the musical crossover, which was in the spring of 2017. It was in May, and we haven't seen them cross over individually. Obviously, they've been together in Crisis, things like that, but I just really want another one because they are my favourites. Like, World Finest, when... The Flash, when Barry actually turned up on Supergirl for the first time, that was like the best thing ever, one of my favourite crossovers, and my favourite episode of all time is the crossover they had the next season in Supergirl Season 2 and The Flash Season 3, which was the musical crossover. I freaking love that. That is my favourite episode. So I'm a little bit salty that we're not getting another Flash and Supergirl crossover before then, but at the same time, I'm excited to see potentially Batwoman crossing over you know, and sort of mixing up with Supergirl a bit before Crisis. So again, we don't know if this rumour is actually a rumour or if it's confirmed or anything like that. It's just one specific source, so you have to take it with a big grain of salt. But I would be down for Batwoman and Supergirl crossing over. I think they're a good pairing. I just think the Flash and Supergirl are the best pairing they have in their Arrowverse, and I think it's a shame that they haven't crossed over in over two years. So yeah, I would like to see that very soon. Okay, so let's move on past this and talk about this DC new superhero show that they're trying to do for 2020. So this was announced at the CW TCAs the other day where the president of the CW, Mark Pedowitz, told reporters as per usual, as he does every year at the TCAs, he sort of teases what's to come, you know, with what's new essentially and what's going to be ending because they actually had arrow panels but then they had a batwoman panel and stuff like that so for what's new and what's ending and so they talked about specifically that the network is looking to add another dc comics property into its slate for the 2020 to 2021 season so that is obviously we go through this whole year say we're in supergirl season five we end season five and that's when this new show would begin so where batwoman's beginning essentially in october around then and sort of head into 2021 so that's what they are aiming to do but what might this property be mark actually declined to actually say what it was or give any hints so the theory's off the top of my head and i think i'm totally down for this because i really really did like the batwoman pilot so looking forward to seeing 
all the reactions from that. I watched it twice at Comic Con. It was really good. I really did like it. So I'm down for that. And then the idea of a new show is very exciting to me. And obviously with Arrow off, we got Batwoman sort of replacing it, although it's kind of very different. I would say a high possibility would be that Arrow spin-off they talked about with the future characters. So that's been rumoured for a while as for the next generation of Arrow characters, including the 2040 versions that we've been seeing recently on Arrow. And so I think there's a possibility, but I think there is definitely better options as to what they could actually pick to be that new show and I think a good idea would be a Legion of Superhero show I think that would be an amazing idea so not like Legends of Tomorrow where it's more of a comedy show but a more sort of serious look at what a superhero team up could be in the vein of more like a Justice League type of show so if you look back at Justice League the animated series I'm talking something like that where they go on missions and, you know, it's all around the place. Legion of Superheroes in the future. I think that's a great idea. So you could also bring in lots of characters you've had before. If they're doing it next year, Amy Jackson could return. She's had her baby. I think, you know, she'll be on maternity leave. But she'll be fine by the start of 2020. So that's a possibility. Chris Wood will be around if he's not on Supergirl. And then you have, you know, Jeremy Jordan if he's not you know, sticking around in Supergirl as a series regular, he can pop up there, and then, yeah, I think there's loads of possibilities, there's so many characters there, I think that's a great idea. Also, another show, Superman, that they've been rumouring to maybe be doing sometime in the near future, I don't think it's such a good idea because Supergirl is on, and the shows will be pretty much very similar in terms of tone and everything like that, so that has been rumoured, but I don't think that would be a really good choice right now, and... I think that the Legion one is a great pick, and I think the Arrow one is, you know, I wouldn't really need it, and I don't think a lot of people would really need it, but it's a possibility. And then, obviously, there's the idea of, like, spin-offs from all of the different characters we've had before. Maybe Crisis sets up something, and we know Mark actually said this show would be set in the Arrowverse and it wouldn't be like waiting to come in like Black Lightning has been officially confirmed to be in the Arrowverse after all these years so I'm thinking it's maybe something connected to what has happened in the past so it could be crisis related maybe some of the characters that pop up for the first time I think there would be a very good chance at introducing a whole new concept maybe somewhere in a different multiverse you know somewhere on a different earth that is, you know, obviously not Supergirl's Earth or not Earth 1. And it's one of the last remaining Earths after Crisis happens. Because in Crisis, in the comics, the multiverse is essentially destroyed. And Earths merge, Earths destroy, and everything is not the same as it was before. So, I think that's a very interesting choice as to what's to come next. And I think it would be a great way to set it up. So that is it in regards to this new show. That's just me theorizing a little bit as to what's going on. Now let's move on to the bit I promised we would do at the end of the video. And this is talk about Canada Graphs' new blog post. So on the screen right now, you'll see some pictures. We've got James, we've got Kelly, and we have Alex and Kara. And they were all doing a scene the other day in the public. And that's how Canada Graphs got the photos. So Melissa's there, Kyla's there, McCard's there. And also, as he was there to shoot a scene. So let's briefly talk about, you know, the description of what was happening. So this was actually episode three that they were filming. And so this is a little bit of what Canada Graphs was able to see. So they were all shooting a scene where they were out for a walk together. Because of the tight space, he wasn't able to find out a lot of exactly what's happening in the scene. But it seemed like Kara and Alex were walking together. When they were joined by Kelly and James later on, the group then walk together for, for a bit while chatting until they stop and the Olsons go one way, the Danvers go another way. And during the scene, at some point, Kara has some donuts, as you can see from some of the photos. So that was just part of it. So it's just a casual conversation. Something's going on. They're on a normal stroll and they just happen to meet up. So, you know, we've seen lots of stuff like this on the CW before on Supergirl. And before the scene, 
they actually did a scene inside of a cafe and so it only seemed to have Melissa there, so Kara from the main cast. And so let's put some of these photos on the screen right here so you get to see various shots of them practicing. So they got the scripts in their hands, Melissa and McCard actually there, and Kyla, and then as he's just off screen for this one specific photo. And then you get to see, you know, Melissa with the donuts. That was a scene when they were walking, and it seems like that was just specifically between Kyla and Melissa, that scene. So something about Kara's love of donuts is going to be in that scene so that's just you know some exciting trivia I guess and so yeah just various photos of them strolling and preparing a lot of these are of the behind the scenes shots but some of them are actually them filming so lots of exciting stuff so go check out Canada Grass's blog and so that's about it so what do you think about all of this what do you think about the Supergirl and Batwoman crossover rumors do you think it's gonna happen are you a bit mad that it's happening before The Flash and Supergirl return together to have a solo crossover? I just really wish they do it. They are the best episodes. I love them so much. So, yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.